Bro, I'm checking in to check it out. So today we're going to talk about gym idiots, okay? Let's open this. Some Luke Zaid. Luke Zaid alert. A new drink. But anyway, yeah, we're going to talk about how not to be a gym idiot. Now, I've made several of these videos before on my old channel, which of course is now gone, dead and dusted. Where I had nearly 7,000 subscribers. Which is not a lot to some people, but it was to me. But anyway, violins put violins aside. Yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about gym idiots and how not to be one. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep making several videos, okay? Breaking each little thing that I see down, okay? Now, first one, pretty common sight: drinking protein shakes whilst in the gym training okay <clears throat> this needs a bit more sugar in it's only got 20 grams of sugar for 500 mil not enough but anyway yeah drinking protein shakes in the gym whilst training now I don't understand why people do this. I don't understand why what effects you think you're gonna get from this, but it's completely asinine and it's a fucking waste of time, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go on like I don't know where it's come from or where why they are, why people are doing it, because of course I do, because I've been in this game a while, you know, I've, I've, I've read all them fucking magazines. I used to have a massive collection of them. All the muscular developments, all the flex magazines, all the muscle mags, all the muscle fitness, okay? And it's from those things, you know, when that was popular, when I mean, you just go out and buy the magazines, um, that's where basically most of it come from. You know, you'll see you, there was an article saying, you know, you need to, you know, uh, how they should drink protein shakes for your workout, you know, to keep. Um, to increase um, muscle synthesis, uh, muscle synthesis, and all this stuff, you know, um, you know, you'll see in magazines, you know, you'll see um, supplement companies advertising it as well. You might even see in the back of their tub or whatever, you know, say drink one before you work out, drink one pre-workout, one intra-workout. Don't do fucking shit, okay? Don't do fucking shit because let's think about it. Let's let's just break it down to a more simpler level right so what you're in a gym right okay so what's going on you your heart rate's up and whatever you might be whether you're doing full body or not the blood is going to whatever muscle groups you're working okay and well yeah it's going to be more centralizing to the muscle groups you're working if you're doing full body it's going to be going everywhere if you're doing i don't know your back or your chest it's going to be more centralized there but anyway most of your blood is moved is is most of the blood and oxygen is not in the digestive tract it's not in your stomach okay because the body's got more important things to do by supplying oxygen to the, the to the required muscles that are being trained yeah so you drinking a fucking protein shake during a workout? What does that? What, what the fuck is that doing for you? What's in a protein shake? It's fucking protein, dried powdered milk. How is that gonna give you any sort of um, benefit or effect? Um, yeah, how is it gonna give you any kind of benefit? It's not. Now, if you was drinking a sugar, a sugary drink, like just, pro, just plain sugars, whether it's a sugar water or a can of Coke or kind of fruit drink whatever if you're drinking some sugars yeah then that's different that's completely different okay because that's them them simple sugars will, um the body will easily assimilate because if anyone with a fucking with a brain cell should know the body works the body runs on carbohydrates as fuel yeah it's like fucking putting petrol into a fucking car that's the fuel source that's the most efficient um, fuel source for the car. Carbohydrates, sugars are the most efficient fuel source for the body. Yeah. So if you're if you're doing an intense workout, right? 
you might be in there for two hours from you know it depends on your level of training you know you might you might do crossfit something like that something where you really pushing your body to the limits yeah and you and, and you and you and you need to take you know yeah it might have a, it might have a five minute um break and you take taking some simple sugars that's different because the body's gonna the body's gonna assimilate that um efficient efficiently and quickly in, and provide more energy um, for your body okay and the body will break that down pretty easily but you drinking a protein shake what are you getting from that you're not getting nothing that you're not getting no extra muscle building capabilities you're not gonna you know you're not what what are you doing you're not what 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 the fuck are you doing? you ain't doing shit yeah so, so so stop reading the bullshit what you see online or the marketing scams that the um, that the fucking <coughs> that, that the supplement companies are, are telling you to do. Stop, stop buying into that bullshit. Yeah. If you really want a protein shake, have it once you've finished your workout. Even then, you don't necessarily need a protein shake, but at least once the blood has come away from the the blood and oxygen, you know, once the blood and the blood has come away from the the work the body parts right and you know the body's coming down you're settling down now you're taking some nutrients obviously then the body's then gonna assimilate it otherwise it's just gonna it's just gonna be sitting there because the, the body's not requiring protein to uh, maximize its performance while training you don't see fucking marathon runners or athletes or I mean yeah marathon runners or Whatever distance runners or whatever, anyone who does does some real active sport, yeah, you don't see them drinking protein shakes in the um, in the middle of their session. You see them reaching for either glucose tablets or some sort of sugary drink to keep the body fueled, to keep the body going. Okay, so stop being a fucking gym idiot, thinking that thinking that that oh look at me, yeah. Oh look at me! I'm drinking a protein shake. I think because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, don't be one of them people. Don't be one of them people because people like me will look at you and think you're a fucking idiot because that's what you are. Plain and simple. One sec. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so, yeah, these people walking around with their fucking protein shakes in the gym, like, what What are you trying to prove, bro? What, what, what are you trying to prove? You know, it's some, it almost reminds me of people who walk around with a, with a fucking mask on their face, right, in the outside, or in places where they don't need to do it no more. Like virtue signaling, like, oh, hey, look at me. I'm doing the right thing. Look at me. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm great. No. No. No, you don't. No, you don't need your protein shake while you're fucking training, okay? Because the funny thing is, most of the time, most of the time, probably about 99% of these people, right, who are seen drinking protein shakes during a workout, don't even look like the fucking train. That's the worst thing about it. Now I'm not shitting on people's physiques because everyone was, you know, I've been there. I've been there, you know. I, I wasn't born big, but I also wasn't born a necessarily a necessarily idiot either. But anyway, most of these people that are drinking these protein shakes in the gym whilst training don't even look like the train. And also, these are the same people who don't even know how to train properly. Okay. Now. But that's a different story anyway but anyway yeah so that concludes the first part of being well yeah that includes the first part of don't be a gym idiot yeah so that's part one and we'll break it break down the rest of them as the time goes on and with that amount